welcome to Thais. In this program, we will have many segments. So one of the segments, we will have an advice that I will advise myself and my brothers and sisters, the viewers, and also one of the segments that we will have an interview with new Muslims and those who reverted to Islam. That is an, an advice between me and you. And let's start. You know that Allah Almighty, He said in the Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, ittaqu Allah wa kunu ma'asadiqeen. O you who believe, fear Allah, have taqwa, have that shield that will protect you from the punishment of Allah Almighty and be with those who are the truthful people. So Allah Almighty is telling us to have taqwa and at the same time be with those who are truthful people or truthful community. So this is one of the most important advice that I would love to advise myself and you that is the honesty. You have to be an honest. I have to be an honest. As a Muslim, we all have to be honest people. Why? Because Allah Almighty, the Creator, He is the one who commanded us to do that. Not only that, we all know the title of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, what he said. People used to tell him, even though he is not a prophet, when he used to live at the age of 20 and 25 and 30 and 35 until 40, people used to call him as sadiq al-Amin, the trustworthy, the honest. This is the title of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And from the other side, Allah Almighty telling us to be with those who are truthful, truthful people. So this is an advice that I would love to advise myself and you that we have to be among the category or within the category of those who are always truthful to themselves, to Allah Almighty and to the people. Because the truthfulness is one of the most important element that all the prophets and the messengers came with. So many verses in the Quran, it says that, you know, Abraham, peace be upon him, Ishmael, peace be upon him, Joseph, Yusuf, peace be upon him. And all these prophets, they used to be the truthful people, people of the truth. So this is one important thing that we have to keep in our mind. From the other side, how we deal with the truthfulness and with the world that we are living in. So for example, we have to apply the truthfulness into three categories. Number one, you have to apply the truthfulness between you and Allah Almighty. So you have to be truth with Allah. You have to be completely honest with Allah Almighty in every single action that you are doing while you're worshiping Him, while you are praying, while you are even being with, with those, the, those who fear Allah Almighty, you have to be with them for the sake of Allah Almighty. You have to deal whatever you are doing, you have to deal with them in any single action that you are doing because it is the commandment of Allah Almighty and you have to be honest with yourself and Allah Almighty. So the first category is that you have to be honest with yourself and Allah Almighty. The second category is that you have to be honest and you have to apply the truthfulness between you and the people. So whenever you talk to the people, you are always honest and truthful. Whenever you are giving promises to the people, you have to be fulfilling your promise. You have to be okay. You have to be always on the spot clear. Honesty is number one. So while giving promises to the people, while having some appointment with other people, you have to be honest and tell them what is your circumstances and what exactly you want to do. And then the third category is the truthfulness and the honesty between you and yourself and your actions. 
So you have to also be truthful to yourself. That you cannot just say things or do things which is not right and honest. So always you have to have this link that whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm doing, it is between me and Allah Almighty and He's watching me. So the first category that I told you that you have to be honest with between yourself and Allah Almighty and the third category that you have to be truthful and honest between yourself. This connects because if you are honest with Allah Almighty, you have to be automatically honest with you. You don't have to be in front of people to say or to tell or take any action in order to tell them that you are honest or truth. So this is the main three categories that we have to apply in our life. We have to apply in our manners. We have to apply within our family members and specifically if you are a father or if you are a mother, you have to, you have to teach the children with this honesty, that you have to have honesty. You teach them how to be honest. You teach them that whatsoever happened, you cannot, you cannot say things which is not right or not honest. So always, always try to be honest, teach your family members, Teach your children, teach your kids that you have to be honest and by that you are fulfilling the command of Allah Almighty where He says, O you who believe, fear Allah and be honest and among those who are truthful. So by that we come to the end of this segment and inshallah we will see you in the next segment. So stay with us. Salaam alaikum.